Well, Shaka Hislop, no more kind of main football Champions League done. Most of the league's done, just one or two playoffs in certain leagues. So we're at the stage of the season now where it's transfer rumours. It's mm. the summertime. Now, a lot of the time we do our transfer rater, which we'll continue to do. But if some people make up some stories that X might be going to Y, why can't we have a bit of fun with this as well? So we've heard about the speculation linking Sadio Mane with Bayern Munich. Mm -hmm. How about with Lewandowski's future at Bayern unlikely to continue, how about suggesting a potential swap deal involving Sadio Mane going to Bayern plus Lewandowski going the other way to Liverpool plus some cash? Is that something that you see as a potential possibility? Yeah, I, I don't think that that's far-fetched. Well, let me put it this way. We'll speak about far more um, <laughs> odd things in, during the course of, of the next few weeks. But this, this makes sense in that if Sadio Mane and Bayern Munich are already speaking, and, and that's the, the strong speculation about, about that possible transfer, um, and Lewandowski, we know, once out of, of Bayern Munich, he's been heavily linked with Barcelona, and I'll get to that in a minute. Why not Liverpool? Uh, and, and everybody is happy for it. Both players only have a year left on their contract, so the transfer values will, will start to plummet. Um, and while it, it seems that Bayern Munich are the one who initiated this with their interest in, in Sadio Mane, I don't think Lewandowski would at all be a bad addition to Liverpool. Listen, Lewandowski is still one of the best strikers in world football. He is a little bit older now and maybe not in keeping with Liverpool's strict transfer policy. The other issue, the other challenge to that is having that out-and-out -out striker like Lewandowski is not how Liverpool have played over the last few years with, with that front three of, of Mane, uh, Salah and, and, and Firmino. And then later on, Jota and, and over the course of the last few months, Diaz. So it'll mean a slight change of formation, a slight change of focus. But I, I don't think it, it means quality for, for Liverpool. So it makes a lot of sense for both of those. But, and here's the but, Lewandowski has been heavily linked with a move to Barcelona. That's been all the talk. Not until this Mane to Bayern news came up did anybody start suggesting Lewandowski to Liverpool. The other but to that but. <laughs> Barcelona's precarious, if I can put it that way, I'm trying to put it as nicely as I can, precarious financial position. I, I just don't see how they afford Lewandowski, given the restrictions on that football club, given everything we heard from Terras over the last 24, 48 hours. So there are a lot of moving parts to this, but strictly to Bayern, Lewandowski to Liverpool. That works. With regards to Liverpool next season, if Manny goes, is it simply a case of Luis Diaz fitting in and then Firmino or Jota taking the other spot in the middle between Luis Diaz and Mohamed Salah? Absolutely. I think it, it works that way. Um, Diaz really has been uh, an outstanding acquisition. Listen, I, I, I'll be first to point out, I don't think he had the best of days in the Champions League final, but that's not to, that's not to kind of um, detract from how good he has been since, since his arrival in January. And I think that works. The, the challenge to it is we've just known how good that, that front three have been with, with Manny involved. And now you're asking a different question. Um, you've got Salah, who only has a year left on his contract as well. How does that play off over not just the next few weeks, but the next 12 months? So there are a lot of questions for Jurgen Klopp to answer. But right now, as things sit, right now, and okay, as things sit, if Manny moves to Bayern Munich, I think it works. I, I, I think that Liverpool don't suffer as great a drop-off as you would have thought two or three years ago. The challenge to that is, is as much as Liverpool don't suffer a drop-off, Manchester City, their main contenders in English football, I think with the signing they've made so far this summer in Erling Haaland has moved them a couple of steps forward.
And you look at that with City now having a striker and they haven't really played with one since the days of Sergio Aguero. And you wonder if Jurgen Klopp is offered Lewandowski. Look, he's, he's one of the best players in the world still, regardless of his age. It's certainly something that he would consider. However, you mentioned Barcelona. We've been speaking about Liverpool. There's talk of Lukaku going back to Italy. So Chelsea could be looking for a striker as well, unless they want to play without one next season. If you were to pick up Lewandowski and put him to a team that you think he would be best suited to, given their style of play, where would you put him? Oh, that's a really good question. Okay, and and the challenge here in in answering that is um, Lewandowski fits in anywhere. I think when you have a striker of that kind of quality, it works or almost regardless of, of your system, um, as long as he has quality around him. So now we have to look at the practicality of, of all those situations. I, I, I've already told you what I think about, about Barcelona's interest. I think it's flattering, but as we said, right, I, I just don't see, I don't see how Barcelona get point through creative accounting to afford Lewandowski. Creative accounting got them in a whole lot of trouble to this point. So I don't know how creative accounting gets them out of trouble. Um, Liverpool and their front three absolutely works, no question. Chelsea has a greater need um, in term, if, if Lukaku moves on. Keep in mind that we're not quite sure what Inter are prepared to pay for Lukaku. We know how much Chelsea Chelsea paid for Lukaku. We know how much Chelsea offered to Erling Haaland this time last year. So they've, they've got money in the coppers. Despite new ownership, we, and, and maybe new ownership wants to make that big splash. Right now, Chelsea, I think, uh, between Liverpool and, and Chelsea, are uh, better of the teams built around playing for that out-and-out striker. So stylistically, it's an easier fit for Chelsea. I think just in, in terms of coming in, you can Klopp as manager and Lewandowski, that's the easier fit personality-wise. But it doesn't look like he'll be at Bayern for next season. And if that is the case, the suitors will be a plenty because as Shaka said, he's so good that Robert Lewandowski could play for any team. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.